elephants in the cool, muddy water causing a splash. A sweet relief from the baking savanna heat. Nearby, a baby elephant is only too eager to imitate the adults. A fun afternoon for this herd of elephants in Kenya's Savo Conservation Area. Park rangers protecting the elephant's natural playground. On this day, they're polishing their training, how to load and reload a firearm quickly, and then aim accurately at the enemy when under threat. The enemy, poachers. The men in this newly formed team are drawn from various security agencies in the country, part of a government initiative to boost the fight against wildlife poaching. Alan Miner, a ranger with the Kenya Wildlife Service, says the highly militarized anti-poaching training reflects the new kind of poachers that they're up against, well-armed and highly organized. The poaching now, they are using a sophisticated method because they come, they may use even the vehicle. In some Asian countries, like China and Thailand, ivory means status. People are willing to pay high prices for the rare, illegal commodity. Their appetite has fueled the slaughter of thousands of elephants. So far, this year alone, Kenya has lost more than 250 elephants. Last year, more than 360. I have no words for this. Robert O'Brien, a senior officer at Kenya Wildlife Service, shows us what he calls an elephant graveyard. Rows and rows of old elephant skulls and jaws, remains of elephants that have died from drought and at the hands of poachers. This is just part of, maybe a quarter of what is out there. These are hundreds of elephants, hundreds of elephants dead. A new wildlife conservation and management bill in Kenya will put in place stiffer penalties for poaching once it goes into effect. But in the meantime, Alan and his group of rangers continue to push forward. They understand only too well their critical role in protecting the largest mammal on Earth. But the task is daunting. The men are few, the land is huge and porous. Tourism is a key part of Kenya's economy. The wildlife, a key attraction to visitors from across the world. But animal rights groups warn that if the current elephant killings continue, in a few decades there will be no elephants left in the wild. But Alan remains hopeful about victory. We are hoping that uh, even the years to come, like 15 years, the tourists will, will be coming and seeing animals because the effort we are putting, we feel that we are going to win the war of, war of poachers. Zane Vergy, CNN.